As the Crimson enter the 2016 season, they are saddled with possibly the most daunting challenge of Tim Murphy's 23 years as head coach. Fifteen starters have graduated, including their top passer, top rusher, top receiver, and 14 of those who graduated were all Ivy selections. Their record while wearing crimson was an incredible 28-2, including three consecutive Ivy League titles. Perhaps the most telling fact, four members of last year's class are playing football on Sundays, including offensive lineman Cole Toner, a fifth-round draft pick of the Arizona Cardinals. Pro Day at Harvard has become a yearly tradition, and with more than 30 pro scouts in attendance in 2016, it is no wonder the Harvard to NFL pipeline has produced 10 Crimson alums on NFL rosters in 2016. This season, senior captain Sean Ahern from Cincinnati, Ohio, will lead a defense that in 2015 was a dominating force in the ancient eight. On offense, last year's Ivy League Rookie of the Year Sophomore Justice Shelton Mosley from Sacramento, California, returns with his ability to create big plays. The bar has been set high for this young Harvard squad as it battles head to head with the finest the Ivy League has to offer. Harvard's 143rd season opened under the Friday night lights in Cambridge. And those lights were shining brightly on a new Harvard quarterback. Senior Joe Viviano, number four, sat out 2015 with broken bones on both feet, but he quickly stepped into the spotlight against visiting Rhode Island. A native of Berwyn, Pennsylvania, Viviano had previously thrown only three passes at Harvard. This was his seventh career pass, and it went all the way. After that, it was all Harvard. Junior Samar Smith from Coral Springs, Florida, found openings for 107 yards and a touchdown. Viviano showed some escapability as he twisted from defenders and raced into the end zone. For his debut as a starter, Viviano threw for 290 yards and three touchdowns. While winning their 15th consecutive non-conference game, the Crimson racked up 564 yards of total offense. The rebuilding project was successfully underway, and their 51 points were the most they've scored in an opener since 1967. The Crimson took their Ivy League record 15-game road winning streak to Brown and improved it to 16 as they opened Ancient Eight competition. This one quickly became a display of Harvard's ground strength, with Samar Smith pounding over a defender and into the end zone, and Joe Viviano darting through opening. Viviano's going to run option to the five. Viviano into the end zone for the touchdown, Crimson. The two combined for 165 rushing yards and all four of the winner's touchdowns. Third and two, Smith off the tackle, touchdown, Harvard. On defense, with pressure up front confusing the home team, the secondary enjoyed playing the game of takeaway. Viviano's looking deep, and it's picked off by Kobe Brown at the 30 to the 20. Joining Kobe Brown with steals were sophomore Wesley Oxberry from Denver, Colorado, and junior Tanner Lee from Spanish Ford, Alabama. Third and eight, it's intercepted. Crimson bring it back the other way, Tanner Lee. Harvard advanced to 2-0 with a 32-22 victory. The win marked the school record 221st Crimson game coach by Tim Murphy and was Harvard's sixth straight triumph over Brown. The Georgetown Hoyas marched into Cambridge and surrendered two touchdowns to the fired up Crimson in the first seven minutes. Accepts the snap, going to go up end zone, got a man end zone, pass is complete, and touchdown Crimson! After Brian Dunlap's acrobatic catch, Viviano sparked another drive, setting up his 10th completion of the quarter, a bullet to Anthony Ferkser, a senior from Manalapan, New Jersey. The fireworks continued as the viviano ferkser tandem was just getting warmed up. Plenty of time, throws deep over the middle looking for Ferkser, he's got him on the move, to the 30, to the 20, Ferkser! 
Sixers gonna take it in all the way. Another big play for the Harvard senior. Berkshire would finish with 147 yards and a pair of scores as Harvard exploded for 535 yards of total offense. After throwing three touchdowns, Viviano was named Ivy League Co-Offensive Player of the Week. On the other side of the ball, the visitors from Georgetown met resistance no matter what road they traveled. Sophomore DJ Bailey from San Juan Capistrano, California, dumped the visitors with a pair of sacks. A 31-17 victory elevated the Crimson to 3-0 and handed Georgetown its first setback of the year. An early season battle of Ivy undefeateds brought Cornell to Cambridge to continue a rivalry that began in 1890. And quick as lightning, the Crimson blasted into the visitor's end zone. And he throws it over the middle and it's intercepted by Harvard! Inside the 40, inside, uh, inside the 20, inside the 15, down to the 10 yard line. The pick by sophomore Anthony Camargo from La Puente, California, set up a short scoring strike from Joe Viviano to Anthony Ferkser. The game was just 53 seconds old. From there on, it was Harvard's offensive line simply dominating Cornell's defenders, as the Crimson plundered the Big Red for three drives of 60 or more yards. Wide open, that's a touchdown. Samar Smith concluded each one with a trip to the end zone. Touchdown, Harvard. The Crimson finished with nearly 390 yards of total offense. Making his first career start, junior Tanner Lee stole a pair of Cornell passes. The Crimson defense limited the visitors to only five conversions on 14 third down attempts. Lee was honored as Ivy League Defensive Player of the Week. Harvard remained undefeated. Their 29-13 triumph was their 11th consecutive win over their Ivy League rivals. For the first time in more than 128 years of college football, the Crimson began a road trip of three consecutive weeks, and it did not get off to a good start. Missing their number one quarterback, leading rusher, and top receiver, the Crimson fell to Holy Cross by 10 points. Returning to league play, Harvard and Princeton took the field for the 109th time in a battle between two of the best in the Ivy League. With Harvard alum and New York Jets quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick watching from the sidelines, current senior quarterback Joe Viviano was back in uniform. The Crimson rolled to a pair of first half scores. The first, a six yard connection between Joe Viviano and Anthony Ferkser. Minutes later, Viviano found another target racing down the Princeton sideline. He's open at the 20, he's inside the 15, tiptoes down the sidelines and into the end zone for a touchdown. Adam Scott, six points for the Crimson. The Denton, Texas sophomore enjoyed a most productive day with eight catches for 85 yards. Complete, first down and then some out to the right side. Harvard added what would be a vital fourth quarter field goal when freshman Jake McIntyre from Orlando, Florida connected from 26 yards out. But the Tigers battle back to tie the score at 17 and send the struggle into overtime. Harvard's defense rose to the occasion and kept Princeton out of the end zone. The Tigers were held to a field goal. It was now or never for the Crimson offense. Needing a score to avoid defeat, Viviano stepped forward, busting a 15-yard pickup down the sideline of the Princeton three. The gutsy quarterback then stretched for the end zone. Picks it up off the ground. Viviano is going to be in for the touchdown on the left side. Running and passing, Viviano accounted for all three of Harvard's touchdowns. While on defense, linebacker Jordan Hill from Silver Spring, Maryland, made a season-high 17 tackles. A Crimson single-game record for a freshman. After the 23-20 overtime triumph, Tim Murphy praised the character of his squad adding they simply did not give up. A third consecutive road game and a second consecutive nail biter. The trip to Dartmouth would bring out the pride and poise of the Crimson as they were again challenged to the final whistle. This one started like it would be a snap. Less than a minute into the game, senior Rayshon McGee from Windsor, Connecticut picked off Dartmouth's first pass, and some 50 seconds later, Harvard was in the end zone. 
Viviano with a play fake underneath. He's going to look end zone. He's got Shelton Mosley for the touchdown. Harvard would add another touchdown late in the opening period as Viviano capped a 68-yard drive. 14 to nothing, Crimson. For the second game in a row, freshman Jake McIntyre tacked on a vital three points. The home team put on a surge of its own, pulling within three of Harvard. It was time for the Crimson offense to show its dominance, and they did it with a late third quarter, 72-yard grinded out drive of 12 plays. That ended with a scoring jaunt by Samar Smith. Samar Smith to the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson. In the final period, Dartmouth would pull within two points, but Harvard was able to maintain possession and run out the clock. The Crimson quarterback passed for 206 yards and ran for 61 in leading Harvard to its 13th straight Ivy League Road victory, a conference record. Returning to Cambridge after a three-week road trip, the Crimson would turn to their aerial game for a 13th straight victory over Columbia. But the outcome would be in doubt until the final seconds. Joe Viviano floated a 29-yard completion perfectly to Adam Scott, putting the Crimson on the board early. The visitors battled back to take the lead at the half. Following a fumble recovery, Charlie Booker raced 15 yards to tie the battle. One series later, after the Crimson shut down Columbia, a Viviano to Ferkser pitch for six made it 21-14. Harvard then forced its third fumble of the game with Langston Ward taking possession at the Columbia 22. It took the Crimson one play to turn the recovery into points on a Viviano to Scott connection. The three quick scores put Harvard on top 28-14. Viviano threw for 260 yards while Scott with 109 yards and two touchdowns was named Ivy League Offensive Player of the Week. Tanner Lee's final minute interception preserved the 28-21 Harvard victory, elevating Tim Murphy to second place in career Ivy League victories. One of Coach Murphy's biggest fans is nine-year-old Daniel Gramsci. You are welcome to be here as much as you would like. We feel so fortunate that Daniel's going to be part of our team. And I say, I, I know I say this for everyone on our team and our program, we feel thrilled to have him. We're lucky to have you on our team. As a member of Team Impact, Daniel signed on with Harvard in August and attended most Crimson games home and away. Team Impact is a program that matches children who have life-threatening diseases with local college sports teams. The goal is to provide valuable camaraderie and support and give the child the opportunity to develop relationships with members of the team. More than 1,000 children have been matched with a college team across the country, including seven different teams at Harvard. Daniel, whose home is Newton, Mass, is an avid sports fan and athlete, playing flag football, basketball, golf, soccer, and baseball. His toughness and the optimism displayed by his family have been an inspiration for the Crimson players and coaches. Daniel has taken his place as a valued member of the 2016 Harvard football program. As the season reached its final games, the Crimson visited Philadelphia and found themselves deadlocked with the Penn Quakers with under three and a half minutes to play. But Penn scored twice and pulled out a hard fought victory. The 133rd playing of the game between Harvard and Yale made for a picture-perfect atmosphere at Harvard Stadium. 
after posting nine consecutive triumphs over Yale and with a chance to finish atop the ancient eight, Harvard fell to the Bulldogs by a single touchdown. Sophomore Charlie Booker from Houston, Texas bounced away from the crowd and into the end zone for Harvard's first score. Later, senior Ryan Halverson from Coronado, California grabbed a Joe Viviano pass for his first scoring catch of the season. It was not enough, as Yale scored in the game's final four minutes to pull out the win, 21 to 14. Following consecutive setbacks to Penn and Yale, the Crimson finished with a seven and three record, and for the 17th consecutive season, ranked among the top three teams in the Ivy League. Five Harvard players earned first team all Ivy honors. Sophomore wide receiver Justice Shelton Mosley gained unanimous selection after leading the Crimson with 48 receptions and 745 all-purpose yards. He is Harvard's all-time leader in both kick return and punt return average. Another unanimous selection, defensive tackle James DeBerg from Chula Vista, California, powered the Crimson to one of the toughest scoring defenses in the country. The senior picked up four and a half sacks and 29 tackles as he was additionally voted Harvard's most valuable player for 2016. Senior tight end Anthony Ferkser led the Crimson in TD catches and receiving yards and will graduate sixth in program history with 14 career scoring catches. This was his third All-Ivy selection. Two offensive line teammates also were named first team All-Ivy. Junior Larry Allen Jr. from Danville, California dominated opponents at right guard. And senior left tackle Max Rich from Portland, Oregon was a nominee for the National Football Foundation National Scholar Athlete Award. Four Crimson players earned second team honors, including sophomore defensive end DJ Bailey, who led the team in sacks. Senior cornerback Rashawn McGee, who posted 51 tackles and seven pass breakups. Freshman kicker Jake McIntyre, who connected on eight field goals. And junior linebacker Luke Hutton from Austin, Texas, who led the Crimson in tackles and was elected Harvard's football captain for the 2017 season. The Harvard senior class graduates with a four-year mark of 35 and five, just one victory short of the all-time Ivy record. They also continued to build on a conference mark of 16 straight years, winning at least seven games. As the underclassmen stepped forward, seven of them earned a berth on the All-Ivy squad. Harvard football is again laying the groundwork for a solid future. Led by seven-time New England Division I Coach of the Year, Tim Murphy, the Crimson are focused on a return to the top, determined to build on their tradition 